how to uh, configure uh, and deploy NoTouch OS to an endpoint using the PXE installation method. Um, this video is assuming that you have uh, set up NoTouch Center already, created your DNSA record resolving the hostname TCMGR to the IP address of your virtual appliance and you, that you've also configured the scope DHCP scope options, which I'll cover shortly. So in order to um, set up PXE, we need to go into the Virtual Appliance Container Administration. And from here, we need to go to Image Management. So what we need to do is we need to add both the zip file uh, and the LFI file. Um, it is worth noting that if you only want to live boot your images, then um, the zip file will suffice. However, if you want to use the installation method, then you need both the zip file and the LFI file. So I'm simply going to just drop those two images into here and just upload them into NoTouch Center. Uh, this process only takes a few minutes to complete. Okay, so the images have now fully loaded into our uh, NoTouch Center and we can now start to configure PXE. So firstly, I just want to cover the PXE uh, scope options that are required for your uh, DHCP um, option settings. So we need to specify option 66, which is the boot server um, for your virtual appliance. So in my case, that's 192. 168.1.128 and we also need to configure option 67 which is the boot file name so again in my case i'm going to be using a bios based device so this is going to be pxe linux.0 however for uefi based devices then that would be x64 6 linux efi as i say they are configured directly um, on your dhcp server so next we go to the boot configuration screen um, by default, the timeout in seconds will be five, um, but I've changed that to one, and I'm just going to show the boot prompt, but we can also um, uh, hide that as well. Next, we need to choose the default OS image. So if we wanted to live boot, then we would choose the first option, but I'm going to install, so I'm using the uh, install method. Next, um, in order to automate the installation even further, we can specify some kernel parameters. So there are two of these. Um, it's auto install space, don't wait reboot. That means that it will it automatically install no touch OS and reboot the device once the installation is complete. Um, all we now need to do is just to click save and the PXE configuration is now done. I just very quickly want to show you my no touch center settings so i'm just going to log in okay so in the my devices group um, i've configured my group settings and i have also configured my connection if i wanted to view the settings that i've changed i can just click changed and i've notably added um force reboot after first configuration transfer I've done this because I want to start a number of services which require um, a reboot. However, if you are live booting your devices, then uh, please do not use this option. Otherwise, you'll be in a continuous boot cycle. The devices themselves are going to go into my internal network group, and I've created an automatic assignment rule based on the network address and subnet mask. So what should now happen is once the installation is complete, the device will go into the internal network group, pick up its configuration, reboot. Um, once it's rebooted, it should then start a storefront connection to um, via a Chromium uh, lockdown web browser. So if we now just start the installation process, and I'll just talk you through what's happening. So it's uh, found the no touch virtual appliance uh, using the DHCP scope options and it's just starting the installation genesis process. 
if we didn't have the kernel parameters, it would be at this point that we would be prompted to choose where we wanted to install the image to. But as I say, we're gonna, we're, we've automated this process. Okay, so it's just analyzing my hardware and it's now just going to start the, the install. So here we can see the time remaining. So it's just um, a little under 40 seconds remaining for the installation process. So you can see actually it's very, very quick indeed. And whilst this was happening, you could then move on to the next device, network boot and so on, so that you can quickly uh, roll this out to you know tens, hundreds or even thousands of devices very, very quickly indeed. Okay, so the install is complete, so it's just going to verify the installation. And once this is complete, it should automatically reboot. Okay, so what's now going to happen is it's going to complete the the boot. Um, it will find no touch center using DNS, and what we should see is a notification pop up in the right hand corner um, to say that it has met an auto assignment rule, and we should also see the device appear into um, our internal network group. So there you go, and now the device should reboot as planned. And now once the device has rebooted, it should um, automatically connect to um, our storefront connection that we've created, which was set to automatically start system boot. So there's the NoTouch desktop with our Citrix connection which is uh, just starting. And there you go. So I'm now able to log in as my user uh, and, and connect to my uh, desktop. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching.